Hello everyone, this is Maria from MLB Reborns. I am making a video to show you um, Isaac with his new pacifier. I just put in his pacifier inside his head and I glued his eyelashes. And I did get a requested video from Cindy Widmeyer asking me to show everyone how to install the um, magnet inside the head so I thought I would come on and show you how to do that and I will be doing it on Tracy. So what you will need to get the uh, magnet in the head is you will need a strong magnet. I get these from Bountiful Baby. I believe they are a couple of dollars each and they are pretty strong and they are huge so this is what you want to put into your baby's head if you put a magnet that is not strong enough inside the head then you run the risk of having a pacifier that doesn't stick correctly to your baby so you always want to use the best quality and biggest um, magnet that you can get your hands on so these are from bountiful baby and they are pretty big. So those are the ones that I recommend for this purpose. Now you will also need a pacifier and I usually put a felt pocket on the back that has a little slit on the top that allows me to put in the magnet facing in, oops, in whichever direction um, attracts the magnet inside the head. So this is the magnet that we'll be using. It's a, a smaller and it goes right into the opening that I have on the felt. And that way if it doesn't fit in this direction, you can just pop it out, turn it around and put it back in. So that is this passy and you'll need some scissors and some strong glue. I always use E6000 glue. It's the only glue that I use and it works really well for me. So that is what I'll be using. You'll need a fork and you might ask why. Well, I sometimes will put the, I hate working with glue. So what I, I will do, and I learned this from another YouTuber. I can't remember who it was. She uses a spoon and we'll put the glue on top of the magnet and then stick it inside the head like so, so that she doesn't have to come in contact with the, um, the glue itself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll give it a try and see if it works today. So there is Tracy and what else? You will need a toothpick and a nail tool. I think it's called a cuticle tool and it looks just like a huge toothpick and I use this to move the glue and the felt around inside the head because sometimes my fingers do not reach. And then this is just a piece of felt that I used for different um, projects, craft projects, and this is what I have left over. So I will be uh, gluing Tracy's um, eyelashes and the actual um, magnet inside. So I will need three pieces of felt. And I will usually just round them off a little. I don't know why I do this. It's not something that you can see inside the head, but I'm a little weird that way. So I just round them off like that and do the other one. And these are the ones that I will be using on his eyes to cover and glue the eyelashes inside the head. So that's that. And this one we'll be using for the magnet and I usually will round it off like so and I will do little cuts all the way around and what this does it allows the felt to lay 
on the actual pacifier like so if you take it and then you put it on there and then you press the edges down they will lay flat around the magnet without any gaps so that really works okay so let's go ahead and get started let me get stuff out of the way here I don't need the scissors and get my felt pieces out of the way okay so then we have our glue and like I I hate working with glue it's not my favorite part of reborning but we have the magnet and I am putting the glue on top of the magnet and I put quite a bit of it on there. Okay, and of course it starts spilling out and then I just put the lid back on. Now sometimes the I won't use this for a while so the toothpick is actually to poke poke the hole poke the hole until the glue starts coming out and I had already done that because I did Isaac earlier so I've already used the toothpick and so now we have the actual magnet it has the glue on top and now I just need to slide it over onto the fork and of course doesn't always work as well as you would like it to but there it goes and you can see that I put quite a bit of glue on there and then we just grab little Tracy and there he is go inside the head and turn him over and then put the magnet down right around the, the mouth area. Okay, so it's in there now. And if you take the pacifier while you're holding the baby down like this, you take the pacifier and hopefully it'll attract the magnet so you can see it's crooked okay it's not sitting right on the mouth so you have to manipulate the magnet inside the head so that it will sit where you need it to sit in order for the pacifier to sit correctly on its face so then I use the either the fork or the cuticle tool and I move the magnet around in there until it gets to where it needs to be and there is enough glue on there sometimes I just need to use my hand and I can tell the magnet is right around there okay so now this pacifier is sitting quite squarely on his face there you go Okay, so that looks good. So once you have the magnet inside the head where you want it to be, do not remove the pacifier. Uh, if you don't have a pacifier with a magnet already on it, you can always just use the magnet by itself. But I did have these already made, so that's what we're using today. Okay, so I can see the magnet in there. Let's see if you guys can see it. I don't know if my lighting is good enough for you guys to be able to see it in there. There it is. I hope you can see it. And you can also see his eyelashes that have been rooted in. Okay? So at this point, Tracy is all ready and I'm just going to install the little felt rounds on the magnet and the eyelashes. Okay? So we want to go ahead, take some more glue and put some on the felts on each one. And I put a pretty big glop 
on each one. Better to have a lot of glue that, than not enough and then run the risk of the pacifier coming off and moving around inside the head. And I've seen plenty of videos where that is the case, so I always make sure and put enough glue on here. Okay, I'm using a paper towel because I'm getting glue on my table. Okay, and I just spread the glue around the felt. And if I don't have enough glue on there, I will add more. And I think I might just do that right now. Add a little bit more glue just to make sure that the magnet stays in place. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same for the felts that will be going around the eyelashes. And the same on the other one. Then you just take the head and you put them in and I will either use the stick or the fork so let's see what will work with baby Tracy okay so here is the felt and these are for the eyes okay so let me see how well I can do this and there is eyelashes and I'm just going in there and just pressing down on the felt making sure it makes really good contact with the eye area okay and I'm using my finger to press it in okay and then we do the other one Okay, and do the same thing, make contact with the eyelashes, put my fingers in there, and just press down from the inside so that the felt is completely covering the eyelashes in there. It doesn't matter how the felt itself looks on the inside as long as you know that glue has gone completely on okay so now we need to do the same with this last piece of felt and it had a lot of glue on it so I'm just spreading it around and then I'm taking the felt and Sticking it in there, right on top of the magnet. And then I use my fingers to press it around. Use the toothpick or cuticle tool to really press that felt around the magnet and that is what I'm doing right now you can't see it I wish I had a better better camera but unfortunately this is what I have to work with so we do what we can right okay and I hope you guys can see the inside of his head there are the pieces of felt on top of his eyes, and there's that one right on top of the magnet. Okay, so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Here is Tracy with his eyelashes and his magnetized passy. 
he's all ready to go now I do leave this on uh, probably for at least an hour just to make sure that it doesn't move around and there's baby Isaac with his so Cindy and everyone else I hope you enjoyed this video I will be uh, finishing these babies up um, completely in the next couple of days to get Isaac ready to um, go home to his new mommy and Tracy ready to list on eBay. I haven't had any takers on YouTube to purchase him. I have had a lot of requests for me to give him away for free, which is what I thought was going to happen. Um, but that's not something that I'm willing to do to give give him away. And um, so that's it. You guys have a good rest of your weekend and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.